Good morning on day 32 guys. Today I'm doing everything backwards. I'm doing laundry in the morning. Uh, I woke up at what was it 9 a.m. Just had breakfast, the most expensive breakfast in the trip so far, 16 francs. Half of it I'm gonna take it with me and that's gonna be snack or lunch along the way. Today is a very, very short day, only 11 kilometers. 11 kilometers is like the last push on a very long day. So I'm gonna be there in no time, two, three hours tops. Uh, I'm debating whether to leave right now or wait until like 11 o'clock. The thing is that as the day progresses, the chances of rain is gonna go high. I don't wanna get wet, but it, in the end, it's only a short day, like I said. So yeah, that's where I stand right now. Look at this room, it's a mess. I'm gonna put everything away while my clothes are dry and then uh, head out see what the day brings it's not up or down it's pretty much going to be flat i already cross over the path and uh yeah my legs are killing me <laughs> they're so sore i'm gonna take a painkiller uh i just been engaging muscles that i haven't used in a while so yeah that's it let's do this So I decided to leave at 10.30 because the sky was getting very gloomy and uh, it looked like uh, it was gonna open up and uh, yeah, plus, I don't know, I, don't, I feel bad when I'm uh, staying in one place. I just wanna keep moving, keep going forward. Only way out is forward. And now I'm here walking through this little forest with a paved uh, road to the next town. Uh, check that out. That would be an amazing place uh, for camping, huh? Let's go take a look. That would be a rad place for camping, huh? So made it to the hotel. I'm staying once again on top of a restaurant, but in the center of town. <sighs> Quick uh, three hour walk today. It got cloudy. It looked like it was gonna rain. It got very close, but no cigar. Got to uh, this uh, British uh, looking flat that I'm staying at. And I took a quick shower, washed my clothes. They're drying right now. And then I headed downstairs for a beer. I wanted to have lunch, but uh, the kitchen was closed, so I had the leftovers from breakfast this morning. Uh, it's been a extremely easy day. I'm, in my mind, today is like a rest day, getting ready for tomorrow. I already uh, talked to the owner so that I could have breakfast at 6.30, because tomorrow is gonna be a 28 kilometer day probably gonna take me like six or seven hours in this uh, terrain but uh, finally gonna make it to the water's edge to a massive lake and uh, that's gonna mark a new stage in the journey uh, been uh, working on a few video updates and just resting 
I had a little snack at the village of Bronze. I had coffee and orange juice and that almost cost me 10 francs. The prices here are double what I was paying in France and uh, it's crazy. After that I walked through vineyards. Yeah, it felt a little bit out of place, but it was nice and short walk before making it to town. Waiting for the sun to go down so I could go out and explore the village a little bit more. Well guys, what can I say? It was a rest day. I went out for a walk and I explored the village a little bit. It was nice. I went to the church, it was closed, but I was able to fly the drone and get a bird's eye view of the entire thing. Came back, had dinner, 36 bucks, Switzerland, and uh, I'm back in my room. So uh, yeah, tomorrow is an early, wake up call. Plan to wake up at 6, have breakfast at 6.30 and be out by 7 because it is a 32 kilometer day and uh, I plan to get to town around 2, 3 in the afternoon and that's it. I mean the town is kind of dead. It is a Saturday. Let's see how Sundays are in uh, Switzerland. Hopefully they're better than, uh, than friends. And uh, yeah. One more day, see you guys tomorrow.